personnel, welcome to a new episode of Final Final And today we're going to be blasting Canada's two mode planetary clairvoyance, even though it's going to get me a copyright strike. Whatever. 20 bucks spin records. Fuck yeah. If you're a fan of Tomb Mode, you're gonna love this. I personally prefer this over Manners, but still, Primordial Malignancy is my favorite release, but like, the first track on here is so fucking good, just, oh my god. It's worth the, you know, money for the record alone. And very gorgeous cosmetically, you get, uh, Poster horizontally and vertically. Cosmetic wise, this thing's gorgeous. Even if you just got the plain black vinyl, it still plays the same music. It just might not look as gnarly, but still, it's fucking sick. Planetary Clairvoyance by Tomb Mold. Get into it. For the time, fear held me and I prayed wildly and incoherently for some ray of light with which to dispel the cold blackness that enveloped the world. William Hope Hodgkin. This part right here, I'm not even joking, is worth the price of the record. Really quick. Because I'm getting a copyright thing anyway and doesn't matter. Real quick, just listen to this part. sick is that like seriously as soon as I heard that I was like wow but on the complete opposite end of the spectrum and I originally fucked up and said this band was from Ohio for some reason I was thinking of apartment 213 but I'm talking about live fast die records and getting stabbed Fuck yeah, this is Atmosphere of Decay, hailing from Minnesota, wow, thank you Kevin for sending this over, this is fucking awesome, totally up my alley, I am a big, big power violence fan, I don't know how many of you actually know that, I don't have a really sick power violence collection, I do have, like, Capitalist Casualty split with Man is the Bastard, which is fucking essential if you're a fan of power violence, but I need to get on, like, fucking the Spaz discography, some God Stomper stuff. Like, there is just a whole entire another realm of tunes to get into. But here with Getting Stabbed, Atmosphere of Decay, fucking wow. This completely is a release that caught me off guard, but has not left my cassette deck since it arrived. Holy shit. I love, love, love pissed off grinding power violence. And guess what getting stabbed deliver? So fucking well. And that is grinding awesome power violence I fucking love this stuff so goddamn much I also love the nod to I Hate God the original in the name of suffering release it's just really reminded me of it especially with the plain font and the typewriter esque title but I know that's also live fast dies way of doing things so I think it's just fucking sick and this release right here so fucking good. Two sides of absolute savagery. Like, if you're a fan of fast hardcore, power violence, grind, 
it, you're, there's something for you to love about getting stabbed. Nihilistic and just totally full of hatred. Tracks like A Way Out, Born Choking, Dead Can't Dance, Destroy You, In Your Hands, Permanent Address, Reality, Retox, Stuck in a Wall, Warning Signs, You're Gone, and Vessels. This is such a killer release from Getting Stabbed. I cannot get over how fucking pissed off these three gentlemen are. Like, seriously, holy shit. Shit. Minnesota must be a pretty fucking depressing place to live just based on the lyrical content here from Dave well Dave Dave and Anna but still like Dave T on drums Dave G on guitar and vocals and Anna on bass and vocals the vocal delivery here is top fucking notch very very remnant of I, I felt a lot of hardcore influence here, but at the same time, it's a power violence release, so that's to be expected. But a lot more pissed off than I expected it to be. I was actually thinking I was going into something more sludgy, just based off the cover art and whatnot, but this right here is some awesome, awesome Midwestern Grinding power violence. Atmosphere of decay is exactly that. You can literally, you can seriously feel the urban decay and just the fact that there's nothing you can do sometimes about seeing your hometown fall to pieces before your eyes. Whether that's through drug addiction, just being squeezed in between two major cities that are fucking shitholes. Like myself here, I'm stuck in between Philadelphia and a little city called Chester, which is about only five miles, but has just as many murders as Philadelphia, if I remember correctly. This year might have been a little less, but I feel like every time I look at the newspaper, someone new got shot in Chester or... They were getting stabbed. And atmosphere of decay, like, having lived a type of lifestyle where you're kind of at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to life, and you're surrounded by a bandos, and going to even buy your drugs out of an abandoned building when I was, you know, a slave to that shit. And, you know, it fucking sucked. But at the time, you get in this mindset of, I don't care. Like, who cares? Fuck life. Fuck everything. And if you're ever in that type of situation, sometimes a listen like this can help clear those fucking cobwebs of, like, that need to get high or... Whatever it is, like, I know some people, they get off on just cutting themselves. You don't need to do that stuff. And I understand why some people do it, but at the end of the day, it is a cry for help. I'm sorry if you're one of those people, but, like, life's great, to quote Gummo. Truly it is, filled with beauty and illusion. Life's great. Without it, you'd be dead. And, uh, you know, I've been there. I have personally passed away from a drug overdose. Yeah, but that was about six years ago. And things are a lot different. Like, yeah, I smoke weed. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, my body is trashed from years of just abuse from bike riding, when I used to drink. And drugs, real drugs, marijuana is medicine to me, and it will forever be. But getting stabbed is just that. This is a total, total, just misanthropic slab of fucking power violence. And it's pissed off, and I love it. 
There's something very, very close to the heart for me about this release. Like I said, from even the artwork, the cover photograph just brought me back to, like, pedaling my bicycle 18 miles to buy two bags of heroin. It's embarrassing, but hey, you have to be able to face that type of bullshit to overcome it. And I've been there, and it fucking sucks. And if anyone is struggling with that shit, for real, you can email me, brownpantszine at gmail.com. Alright, and you don't need to, you know, leave a comment and put yourself out there. I'm just being honest with you. That's what getting stabbed atmosphere of decay reminded me of was my own descent into decay as it happened like that i had no idea what i was getting myself into but a release like getting stabbed this really really would have done wonders if i had a record like this back when i was using but at the same time like I was kind of using bands like Grief, I Hate God, to kind of glorify what I was doing in my own brain. I was like, well, you know, Mike Williams used to do it, so who cares, right? And then next thing you know, you're breaking your family's heart, you're losing your own fucking soul, and, you know, it's a great thing when that's behind you and you get to look ahead and do what the fuck you want with your life and not be a slave to a substance and that can be cigarettes alcohol real drugs and if you're an idiot marijuana but it shouldn't be but if you're a fan of fucking power violence Especially of the more grinding nature with a little mixture of hardcore. Getting stabbed, atmosphere of decay, has your name written all fucking over it. And this is one of those tapes that really, really, you know, deserves your attention. Listen to both sides, listen to every song, and... The only bummer about this release is it's over before you know it. But it gets in, gets out, and just fucking kicks your ass with some fucking misanthropic power violence. Getting stabbed on Live Fast Die Records. Thank you, Kevin. You're the fucking man. And Live Fast Die, in my opinion, they're one of those labels that just have... Banger, 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 banger. Every release they have is pure fucking fire. I love No Funeral, like seriously. But we were blasting, thanks to John Randall, to mode planetary clairvoyance on 20 bucks spin records. These maniacs are playing Philly on Friday with superstition, but I do not have a ticket. And I don't have money, so maybe I can get a ticket and hopefully get video for you guys as I have every single Tomb Mold show since 2017, except for the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest, but I really want to go mostly to see Superstition as I've seen Tomb Mold so many fucking times, but I do want to hear more new material live, but fuck yeah, this record sick as shit and getting stabbed, atmosphere of decay. This is not going to be for everyone, but if you have an open mind and you're a fan of grind and power violence, you can't go wrong here. Get into it. Atmosphere of decay by Minneapolis, Minnesota's getting stabbed. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hoosh. <laughs>